I'm Sonia Hill. You're watching NBC 23, Noticias para la Gente. Well, in your campaign 2024 news, New Hampshire's delegates are going to be represented at the Democratic National Convention this summer. The committee voted after months of infighting about the election schedule. New Hampshire typically holds the first presidential primary, but refused to comply with a new Democratic calendar that moved South Carolina first. Now, as a result, President Biden did not file to appear on the ballot for New Hampshire's primary. However, the president still won the contest as a write-in candidate. And the former president, Donald Trump, plans to hold a fundraiser next month with a potential VP candidate. Trump and Senator J.D. Vance will appear together at an event in Vance's home state of Ohio. And Trump did win the state in 2016 and again in 2020. And marijuana advocates are pleased this morning as the Justice Department is set to make a major change in federal restrictions on the drug. Blaine Alexander has the details. For more than 50 years, marijuana has been listed among the world's most dangerous drugs, classified alongside the likes of heroin or ecstasy. But in a major shift, according to sources with knowledge of the decision, the Biden administration is looking to reclassify the drug to Schedule 3, like ketamine or testosterone or Tylenol with codeine, which would allow marijuana to be more easily studied for medical benefits. The change would not legalize recreational marijuana, the possession and distribution of which is still a federal crime, but would recognize it as a drug less likely to lead to addiction. Stephanie Shepard served nine years for conspiracy to distribute. What does this mean for incarceration rates in America? Hopefully it means a step closer to lowering those rates um, and also releasing those who are serving heinous sentences for cannabis. Public opinion has shifted dramatically in the last 20 years, from 34% of Americans who believe marijuana should be legal to 70%. Nearly half of states have legalized marijuana for recreational use. But tonight, one opposition group says the cannabis industry has lobbied heavily to sell demonstrably harmful products and calls out the Biden administration for a, quote, thinly veiled attempt to reverse polling trends. No one should be jailed. President Biden has already pardoned thousands of marijuana offenders, and the move could garner political support this election year, particularly among young and black voters. The proposed change still has to go through a public comment period and would not become official for at least 60 days. Blaine Alexander, NBC News. Exactly when will the proposed changes go into effect? Well, that remains unclear and it could face a challenge from Congress. A new 2024 Pew poll found that younger people are more likely, of course, to be in favor of legalizing the drug. And here in our state, it's still illegal to use or to possess marijuana. This law has been in effect since 1931 to date. In 2018, hemp was considered different from marijuana and was made legal by House Bill 1325. Governor Abbott signed the bill in 2019, and CBD products are being sold across the state. Medical cannabis is legal in limited circumstances throughout our state through the Texas Compassionate Use program. Now, Texans with health conditions like epilepsy, autism, cancer, and post-traumatic stress disorder might be able to access cannabis oil with less than 1% THC. And one person is dead and three more seriously hurt after the twister swept through Westmoreland, Kansas. 22 houses were destroyed or deemed unlivable, leaving multiple families without a place to live. A temporary shelter was opened to help those who were displaced, and crews are continuing to assess the damage as we speak. It took the north, you know, half of the town. It really did. So, I mean, the county shops, which are, you know, responsible for cleaning up, they're going to have it. And we also have several of our own people that have, you know, had, um, you know, suffered loss too. So their homes, I have deputies that have had losses to their homes. So we have to, you know, again, in respect to them too, we just have to think about them. So. Red Cross has opened a shelter at Rock Creek High School in St. George for those who may need a place to stay. Well, today is a lot like yesterday with one uh, big change. It is windy out there. We're seeing wind gusts of 35 miles per hour as far inland as the McAllen area. The heat is continuing not only today, but in.